you got Ron Artest, you got Charles Barkley on a, on a Friday night against Cal State Northridge. So um, I want to congratulate Javon McCormick on, um, on a terrific performance and set that single season record. The record has been around for a long time. And uh, we made shots. Um, we took our opponents seriously. I, I do think that the last time you guys saw us at home, it was Eckerd and Georgia Southern. I think we played better. Um, so we've talked about the fact that we got a long way to go. We still got a long way to go, but but we played better. Um, um, you know, clearly shot it, shared it, um, and you know we, we overwhelmed uh, we overwhelmed our opponent, um, which we haven't been able to do yet. So uh, short turnaround. This is this is our fourth game in um, I believe ten days, and we will have our fifth game in third. 13 days on Monday, probably the most I've ever had prepared for. Um, and a, another team that shoots the ball from three very well, Colgate picked to win the Patriot League. So I'll get on them tonight, and I'll know more about them. But this is a, this is a, a good effort tonight. Bruce, what did you like most about the game tonight? I thought the way we shot it, the way we shared it. I mean, those are probably the two things that jump out at you. Um, there was great balance. Um, and it was, it was spread throughout. Um, you know, I, I, I hope we're learning. Um, I can see the difference, you know, between um, the guys are, that are new, that are trying to catch on. Um, it, it, it's good to continue to see Jamal Johnson act like a veteran, play like a veteran. That's a really good thing. Isaac already does because he's got such high basketball IQ. That uh, gives us. You know, seven guys that really know what they're doing and have some great experience. And then we get Tyrell Jones, who stuffed the stat sheet tonight in a lot of ways and does a lot of positive things, but can make a lot of also make some negative plays. And he's talented. Uh, Alan Flanagan again had some really good uh, series out there. Devin, you know, Cambridge uh, again talented, but those young guys need to play better, more solidly. You know, if we're going to continue to, you know, be able to beat the best teams on our schedule. So when you talk about being uh, uh, aggressive early, he had his career high in points at, at halftime. I mean, just, uh, how much of that were, were you pleased with it, that he was just so had a great, line. great flow. He had a great, you know, great swag. He had a great feel to his game. He was shooting it off the bounce. Um, he didn't. You know, he, he also didn't have a turnover, um, and he played really good defense. So I think, look, for us, our only chance is to become a great defensive team. To do that, we got to also become a great rebounding team, um, and so that's our best chance to have to have a chance to be competitive in the SEC. So we're still working on that. So, what did you think about the defense tonight? Um, I thought that uh, we did it. We we weren't we weren't uh, we didn't extend as much as we should have. We allowed the ball into the pinch post too much, um, um, and. Um, and I thought we had, you know, we missed on some physical plays, but 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 you know, look, um, you know, for the game, you know, they they they, they shot 34 percent, but they still shot close to 40 percent from three, and that's that's a problem. It looked like uh, you didn't have a whole lot of turnovers until late in the game. I guess you got to be pleased about that. Probably. Really, I mean, to score 116 points and only turn over 11 times is is, is really good. Northridge is a good offensive team. They struggle defensively. Uh, they struggle a little bit in transition. I, I like the fact that Mark is trying to play a wide open pace. I think it's going to serve him well, but it obviously brought the best out in us. Um, and um, you know they're missing a, their best player. You know he was the player of the year and freshman of the year a year ago. He's still not eligible. He's supposed to get eligible at some point. That team, you know, if they can get him back, they can be competitive in their league. Isaac was kind of saying that he shook off some nerves in the exhibition game. Have Who's that? that? Isaac. And have you seen that in the last three games since since he got the exhibition out of it? Um, he is he is uh, he has been really good from the day he walked on campus in the sense that um, he's been he's been our most consistent. So if he didn't put up any kind of numbers in the first exhibition, it wasn't for any other reason. Um, very, very unselfish, high IQ, physically gifted, willing learner, 
makes everybody else better. And I just love his unselfishness. Um, he won't lose his matchup this year. Maybe not ever. I just don't see him losing his matchup. I don't care who he's playing against. Samir was on a bench going, that, that dude's different. He just, <laughs> he different now. 23 is different. So, and he won't, he will not let any level of success affect him. He's, he's our hardest worker. Are we good?